probably should have called ahead. No, it's fine. Come on in. I brought someone with me, actually. How did you... Oh, that's a long story. I'll get to it later. Last time I was here, you were locked in an epic battle with your demons. Dare I ask who won? Oh, uh, I uh, left the pills where they are, so you tell me. Good. I think. I mean, I could. we should probably toss them. Can I... No, I'm, I'm going to leave them where they are so you can keep your hands off. Right. Staring mm -hmm. temptation in the face. Mm -hmm. For how long? Until I wake up and don't have the impulse to check and make sure they're still there. Right. About a dozen arguments spring to mind, but I will leave it alone. Good choice. <laughs> so, uh, did you get this where I, I'm thinking? Yeah, of? oh yeah. Oh yeah, Windermere. I mean, when you told me about the painting, about how you saw Lulu and Laura's face, I got curious. I went to check it out. Did you have to break in, or was anyone home? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no one was home. Well, so to speak. Helena was there. And she had a few very odd things to say, even for Helena. What was Helena doing at Windermere, anyway? She said she had misplaced something. She was looking for it. She seemed genuinely disappointed that she couldn't find it. Her soul? <laughs> no, I said disappointed. No, she seemed genuinely sad. Oh, no. Please don't tell me you guys bonded over some kind of emotional topic. Please, <laughs> Ethan, that would disturb me. No, no, no. It didn't start out that way, believe me. She whacked me over the head. And then when I came to, she had a dagger to my throat and said, the Spencers need to learn a lesson about trespassing. Okay, okay. That's the Helena we've come to know and love. Oh, yeah. No, no. She was true to form. She even tried to seduce me. Excuse me? Oh, God, yeah. You're serious? <laughs> I'm so serious. You wouldn't be laughing if you'd been there. Wow. No, I don't think I would be. No. How did you dodge that? Well, I think she was just trying to make me uncomfortable. Oh, God. Did it work? Oh, it worked. It worked like a charm. So I told her that I was curious about Laura. Oh, jeez. I meant that one over well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She had a few choice words to say on the yeah, topic. about how Mom destroyed both of Helena's sons, right? Exactly. You know the woman well. Oh, too well. Oh, well, congratulations on getting away with your throat intact. Thank you. Thank you. She actually left the dagger with me. Saying that I might need it to fight off the ghosts. <clears throat> she did not say that. Yeah. Get out of here. Ghost, yeah. Yeah, she painted this whole picture about this dark, brooding presence haunting the walls of Windermere. Oh, my God. It was... She said that the things that you can't see can hurt you. <laughs> and that there are things even Helena fears. <laughs> Altogether, she painted a truly horrific picture of a truly haunted mansion. You know, she was just trying to scare you to keep you from coming back. Right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> but by the end of the conversation, when she left, I was hearing moans and whispers and creaking in the walls. Oh, man, Helena loves yeah. playing games just like that. Yeah, you know, she actually said that uh, her last diamond deal with Dad was a disappointment. Oh, I, I wouldn't believe that for a second. You kidding me? She loves sparring with Dad. Yeah. In fact, I wonder if she knows where he's at right now. Oh, do you care? Dad is wherever he wants to be. How philosophical. You know, hearing your father say that it was liberating to run over your child will do that to you. Come on, Lucky, you know how torn up he was about that. I just, I have enough going on in my mind without thinking about Dad right now. But there is still that flicker of hope that he'll come back someday, huh? Speak for yourself. I am. So this uh, <clears throat> Windermere thing, was anyone else there besides you and Helena? Well, <laughs> sure as hell felt like it. You talking about ghosts or real people? <laughs> okay, so there was this secret passageway that opened up, and I hadn't noticed it earlier, and it was almost like somebody was challenging me to go through it. So did you? Well, of course. <laughs> well, you know how in horror movies the first person to die is always the one that goes down to investigate the mysterious disturbance in the basement? Mm -hmm. I am totally that guy. <laughs> so I went through that doorway into this dark tunnel. Ooh, like a secret passageway. Yeah, exactly. Except it turned out to be a merry chase to absolutely nowhere. I ended up right back in the living room. Although, when I came back in, there was this glove that I found right, mm -hmm. right before I went in, and I put it on the table. Okay. When I came back, it had vanished. 
Okay, so Helena came back and took it. Ah, thought about that. But there were other things, too, like... Oh, the... Mm. Well, I mean, who else besides Helena would do that? I don't know. I don't know, but she said she'd sooner do damage to the model than to the painting. That's a shame. It's a beautiful portrait. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I brought it back, hoping we could get it repaired. You know? You know what? I should call Lulu. Have her come take a look at it, yeah? Uh, you know what? That's, that's not a good idea, actually. Why? <clears throat> Lulu doesn't want anything to do with me right now. She was furious. She had every right to be. She was terrified for Dante. All right, she lashed out at someone safe. No, that's instead what? of supporting her, I just unloaded everything right then and there. I mean, I, I could have waited, but I just I didn't think it out. Look, Lulu will be fine, all right? She's strong. Yeah, she's strong like our mother. She puts up a, a brave front whenever she's scared or vulnerable. And then when she gets hurt, nobody knows how bad it is until her entire world falls apart. Uh, she unloaded on you in the moment. All right, at the end of the day, Lulu still loves you and no, needs you. The thing is, she was right. I should have been there. I should have been at the warehouse with Dante. I mean, I, I let him down. The way I've let pretty much everyone in my life down. Hey, no, don't even think of putting Jake into all this, all right? What happened to him was a tragic, tragic accident. No one could have prevented that. And Siobhan? What about her? Telling me I couldn't have prevented that? I should have been there with her. Yeah, what is that? It's, uh, it's from Siobhan. I uh, found it earlier. I just can't bring myself to open it. Why? What's holding you back? I don't know. Just something about the uh, finality of her death, you know? It's like if I, if I open it and... It'll all become real. She's gone. You know what? You should open it. All right? It might help you move on. And you, my dear, we're going to get you all fixed up and ready to go. And hey, I will drop in and check on Lulu. All right? Thanks, man. Yeah. All right. Coming or going? 